Okay, here we found the potential or the possible rational zeros uh, for this problem. We're going to do another one just like it. So here we have, again, a function. This function is a degree 3 polynomial, which means that it has max number of zeros would be 3. Now, of those three, we have to have a place to start looking. So that will be our potential rationals. Now those potential rationals come from all the combinations of P over Q. P comes from our constant term. That is all of the factors of the constant term. Well, the only things that multiply together to get 2 is 1 and 2. So our p would be plus or minus 1 and plus or minus 2. q is the leading coefficients factors. So for q, um, I would have to list out, because 4 has several, doesn't it? We could multiply 1 times 4 or 2 times 2. So our, ra our uh, factors would be plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, and plus or minus 4. Now our potential rationals are all the combinations of P's over Q's. So I'm going to start off with the 1, and we're going to put it over each one of the Q's. So that would be 1 over 1 is plus or minus 1. 1 over 2 would be plus or minus 1 half. And then 1 over 4 would be plus or minus 1 fourth. So now I'm done with the 1. I've used all those combinations. Now I'm going to start in with the 2. 2 over 1 would be plus or minus 2. 2 over 2 would be 1, and we already have that listed. We don't have to list it again. 2 over 4 would be 1 half, and we actually already have that one listed too. So our potential rationals would be these numbers right here. And because that's all it asked, it just asked to find the potential rationals, not actually go through and find the zeros. So this is as far as we have to go.